これではやられるもっと離れていれば撃たれなかったのに Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sam Forex channel. Today, we're building some very classic RG, the Gundam Mark II uh, AUG version. And, you know,、um... oh, by the way, I bought a BTS. Is it BTS? Oh, no, no, no. BTF、um, expansion set for the Gundam Mark II, and I will do it in another video. So please wait for it. And now,、uh, now let's just focus on this. So let's look at the side here. We got some.、Um, The finished product, got some、uh, introduction of the articulation,、uh, colors, and markings. And at the other side, we got some actual actions samples here. All right. Right, now let's look at the. So now we have one, two, three, four. Six packages with an instruction book. So let's just quickly flick through it. So, oh, we are, oh, we are, oh, we actually build a frame first before we go on with the、uh, other parts. Hmm, interesting. Flip it to the back. That's a lot of marking. Right now, I opened up all the runners now. So let's take a quick look of it. So, this is the D1 runner.、Uh, shields, some. Uh, shoulder parts, head parts,、uh, hands part,、uh, arms part, knees, armor, and the head. D2 runner.、Uh, same, basically the same, but you know, without the head part. Next, we got the F part. The F part is the inner frame. We got some hands option, the inner shield joint, the shoulder joint, and the gun handles. A runner, A runner.、Uh, we got the shield part, torso, feet,、um, waist part, and some side skirt armor, and a pilot, and a really small pilot here. C parts,、uh, the torso part, and、uh, the antenna, the backpack, guns part, and thrusters. G1 and G2 runner.、Uh, we got some、uh, bazooka parts, some、uh, arms parts, some legs part, some knee cap armor. Yep. And now, next one, we got a E1 and E2 runner the torso, the gun, the legs, and thrusters, and inner frames. Now,、uh, the movable signature runner, the B runner,、uh, or the inner frame of the whole Gundam. Then we have a beam saber. It's actually pretty long size beam saber this time. It's actually pretty long.、Uh, the marking, the extra marking sheet.、Uh, this time we have、uh, 115 of them have to put it on. That's gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> Then we have some. Strings here. I believe this is the, the the tube in the mobile suit. I'm I'm not sure which part is it.、Um, you know, I'll talk about that at the review. You know, anyways, I'm gonna see you at the review.
Welcome back to the review of the RG Gundam Mark II. So this is the whole finishing of it. I honestly need to say though, I was gonna expect the, uh, this RG is not gonna stand on its own. I was gonna expect that it would properly couldn't, you know, um, balance too well. But it actually, that was just a little over concerned about it. This actually finishes pretty cool, except the waist is pretty sloppy. So I wonder what happened if I put on the add-on parts that I bought uh, earlier and uh, anyway that's not the point and uh, you know the overall finish I really like it and especially you can see those but uh, actually I have something need to say though the, the marking on this RG is actually uh, a lot of it and it looks kinda messy from what I'm saying although it looks very realistic but the marking on it is kinda makes the mobiles look a little messy so if you if you think uh, it's too messy, you can just pick some of it and not uh, not put it on. But I choose to put it all on because I want to show you what it looks like when you after you finish the whole thing. Uh, overall, though, it's uh, it's pretty good. And um, you know, if you if you want me to be really picky about it, uh, is the only thing that I kind of feel sad is the waist. The waist is a ball joint. I know it's going to be great movement but at the same time it's going to be very sloppy but I will talk about that uh, during the review and anyway let's jump right into it. Right now so let's start with the head as usual so uh, let me say again this time so when I you know first watched the Gundam Center I always thought that Mark II was wearing a pair of headphones but it actually was a falcon gun so uh, so please don't treat it as a headphone because I saw it like uh, I, I look at some reviews and when they do the Gundam Mark II, I remember there's someone on the comment section who said the Gundam looks like wearing a headphone. Yeah, it does, but that's not a headphone, okay? I, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, so move up and down slightly, move up and down, uh, side uh, 90 degrees, then we can't really move too much because you know the Falcon Gun uh, equipment is actually blocking the articulation, so uh, not so. The head couldn't really move 360, so uh, we got limited movements. Right, now let's talk about the torso. The torso, uh, we have, as I just said, we have a ball joint here. Up, down, side, side, no problem at all. Very, very good movement, but unfortunately, it's very sloppy. So I don't know what happened if I put on the GD Vanzer of it and turn it into a Super Gundam. I, I don't know what happens going to be that. But overall, the color separation is doing a very good job. Uh, the sensors here is actually not a sticker, it's actually a piece of clear parts, uh, which is a doing a very good job. I'd rather they have that, actually, because, you know, the the clear parts here works better than the stickers. Although the stickers is kind of shiny, but uh, I still like the clear parts. And also, as is, is an RG, so it does have a cockpit open option, and which you can flip up and then uh, flip down the door down there and you will see it. So in there, um, let me just use my phone for you. Well, if I, so in there, we do have some red color separation as the cockpit and it does come with a cockpit chair uh, detail, which is a very good option. Which is a, and it's a, and it's actually pretty good. Like they did, uh, when I did give you some details, uh, at the frame, they're not just gonna give you a hollow, uh, detail uh, without any color in it. As you can see, you can see some red colors in there, so you can clearly tell it's the cockpit. Now let's talk about the hands. So hands uh move up more than 90 and let's test uh, the shoulders is an individual piece so move up about 45 degrees let's test the stability it's pretty stable if i shake it like that it won't gonna it's not gonna fall off unless you pull it very hard um so now the arms uh bend all the way up 180 extremely good uh so the hand uh the arms could uh rotate as well bottom path could rotate as well it also comes with a small uh small joint here that you can move front and back which is a very good option and also the hands is not it's very capable on doing the 360 uh, moving and also it can go it can you know kind of open it to the front for like 45 45 30 degrees not much but you know still very useful now let's talk about the lower body so this time uh, so let me move away the hands first so you can see clearly so this time uh, side skirt we can move up uh, knee uh, 60 and then the each skirt armor here is actually a separate piece so uh, we can flip up individually for about 120 degrees uh, the back waist here uh, is 
uh, they can flip as well. Oh, by the way, the legs is very easy to pop out because they uh, the joint can't really go very uh, deep into the uh, hips joint, so that's why it's always pop out. And then the back skirt here is actually slightly movable as well. Um, so the whole the whole Mark II is capable on turning about 45 degrees side to side, and um, you know, let's kind of testing some of the movement on the legs first. So now let me open up all the things. So uh, back kick, back kick, nearly uh, about 60. Front kick, uh, 90, 90 degrees. Side, side kick, 90 degrees. Very, very good. And uh, the bend, and then the whole Mark II is a capable to bend very high up the legs and it also have a you know a jo uh, moving joint as well so when you move the leg uh, the details in there is actually coming moving and also special of uh, specially set uh, so this is some wires here you actually have to cut it out and then you have to put it on by yourself you can see it here uh, in the in the legs as well I don't think you can see that but because it's kind of very deep in the legs and anyways the movement is extremely good and the legs down here uh, is a double Join here so you can bend the legs and also the lower leg armor here is actually a ball joint so you can slightly do some slight movement the mark 2 is capable of moving the feet around like 30 degrees move it to side to side and you know overall uh, the movement of the whole mobile suit is very very good now let's talk about the backpack so the backpack is actually a pretty uh, fun place to play with because all, all the all four thrusters is, is actually movable, so you can adjust to the angles that you want to display. Uh, because and it's a ball joint, so which means it's very easy to pop out. If you don't if you don't want to pop out, you can just glue it because I don't think you're gonna mess around with that thruster too much. And also, uh, they do give you some uh, wires at the side of the backpack here. Uh, you have to cut it yourself once again. Uh, the backpack. Uh, is the backpack is capable of moving it individually so as you can see I'm moving it right now and you know the backpack is and that's it you know I gotta say though the thruster part is the one that I actually think is the uh, pretty good idea like they, you can you can adjust to the angles although it's pretty useless for me because I'm not gonna you know mess around with the thrusters but you know it's still a small good detail so for the mark 2 they did give you they did give us a uh, four hand option we got a trigger hand a open hand uh, two RG signature movable hand and that's the hand option it also came along with a very small uh, Camus uh, figure uh, you can have fun on repainting that uh, I'm good thank you and also we have a shield which is a uh, extendable it's pretty fun to play with and also there's two there's a missile ports in the uh, shield and two beam rivals uh, beam ammo pack in there you can all you can also put it onto the mobile suit all you have to do is just uh, you know clipping it on the joint and that's it and you can easily put it on and also we have a very huge not a very huge uh, the bazooka uh, the handle at the front is movable you can move it to anywhere that you want and also the ammo pack down at the back is actually you can rip it off and then you can put it all again and they and Bandai was nice enough to give you an extra one so you can you know put it on to the waist you can just simply clip it on like this Alright, next, the beam rival. The beam rival, uh, we have a side handle here that you can hold it on the Gundam Mark II. And also the beam cap here. Uh, use some force, then you can uh, rip it off. And also a very good feature, which you at the back there, there's a joint here. You can actually put it on to the waist as well. So now you can be doing... So now I put the uh, rival and the uh, bazooka ammo on the backpack and also we have two very large I mean very long uh, beam saber effect parts it's almost like a chopstick <laughs> and also fun fact uh, when you pull the beam saber out it actually can reproduce 
the scene, like the anime that it uh, sort of popped out. There you go. I put the beam saber Evepa on the beam saber, and it looks pretty huge. I just do a short comparison. Of it is even is taller than the gunpla itself. That's a pretty huge beam saber for me. It almost like a try on free or dry on freeze beam sabers. Oh, and I also forgot to mention you can you can put the bazooka at the back waist armor all you have to do is just flip down to this little joint here and then all you have to do is just put the bazooka on it just you know it's gonna be really annoying to do that yep now and then you just clip it back basically and now there you go the bazooka is on the mark 2 right now so you know it's pretty fun you can just put on all the weapons at the same time it's pretty fun this is the end of the review of the gunner mark 2 and you know, by the way, I forgot to mention to you, uh, the beam sabers don't have a option hand to put it on. All you can do is just put on the movable hand. And the movable hand, here comes the problem. The movable hand actually you can't put in the beam sabers uh, handle in it because if you put in it, uh, for some reason, it doesn't fit on mine. <laughs> it doesn't fit. And I just couldn't put on the beam sabers. I tried for like 10 minutes to try to put it on and it just keep popping out, it's not gonna happen to put the handles, but uh, that's very sad, you know. But you know, anyways, this is the end of the review, hope you guys like this video, be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel as well. And my camera is didn't focus again, and you know, uh, I will do, I think, yeah, I will soon do a video on the add-ons, and you know, anyways, I'm gonna see you guys in another review. Have a nice day. Goodbye.